All right, barometer is an instrument that measures atmospheric pressure uh, found by, uh, in, in 1643 by Evangelista Torricelli. I don't know how to say his name. I think he's, I think he's Italian. <laughs> um, uh, so the uh, barometer so consists of this. So we have a container filled with mercury. So this is liquid mercury. And we have a glass rod, a glass tube um, dumped in there and pull the air out. So make it vacuum inside. All right. So that's basically there's no pressure in here. The atmospheric pressure will push the mercury to get into the rod Look like that. All right. So that atmospheric pressure, so because there's no force inside, no pressure, no force inside, um, the force outside will push the mercury go up to or inside um, the glass tube. Okay. So it's similar to the way you uh, um, suck liquid using a straw, right? So pressure inside the mouth is zero. So when you suck it, so we have no pressure in there. So that makes the atmospheric pressure press the liquid that you're drinking, let the water go up to. Um, the to your mouth go up the the straw to your mouth basically same same idea there okay look like that here we go all right so there's a smart way to do um to make the barometer by uh Tori Selai. okay and uh the height where uh mercury travel let's tell you the atmospheric pressure all right if you go to let's say the sea level this height right here is right exactly 760 millimeter mercury all right uh, we call it millimeter mercury because it's uh the uh, liquid that we use is mercury if you use alcohol you're not going to get millimeter mercury we call it millimeter alcohol it depends on what liquid that you use all right so uh the uh, basically what i want to say is at um uh at sea level the height of a mercury go up to the tube is 760 millimeter right so we have the unit of pressure millimeter mercury or tor which is this guy tor right there toriselli Okay. All right. Lower pressure at high altitude. What happened there? Well, I think we mentioned it before. So we have less uh, air on top of you, right? So the high going to be lower depends on how, uh, how high you go up. So this is 9,600 feet. The height that we found out right here is only 520 millimeter mercury or 520 tor. Okay. All right. You need a pressure. So, um, the, we have a standard atmos atmosphere. So that's ATM. Now that's one ATM that we're going to use is quite a lot, uh, which is equal to 760 millimeter, mer uh, millimeter mercury or tor. They are, these are the same unit. Okay. And other types of uh, unit of pressure. So we have, so pressure, this is from physics, F over A. So force over, uh, acting over an area. So the, um, what is it called? The, uh, what's it? SI unit, right? So that's going to be Newton. That's a unit of force and area is milli, um, meter square. Okay. Or we call it Pascal. This is a Pascal. All right. We also saw so one, uh, ATM is 760 millimeter mercury or tor or 100, was it 101,325 Pascal? There's a big difference there. Uh, since Pascal is really small, so we usually use kilo Pascal. All right. We also have some other types uh, of uh, pressure. So this one usually in uh, in sport ball or in your, the pressure of your tire. That's we use uh, PSI. Okay. PSI stands for. Uh, let me check real quick. So pounds per square inch. None of, none of other countries use PSI. Only in United States or maybe in Canada. So it's really confusing, Judith. <laughs> so other people will use anything else but not PSI. So, um, okay. So, all right. Your job is to be able to convert from, um, from one unit of pressure to another. In this case, we're doing kilopascal to atmosphere. So we have a conversion factor for you here. Okay. So, all right. Pause the video, do on your own, and then check this with me. Uh, the unit that we want is atmosphere. Also ATM. And what we got is 0 0.829, 0 0.892 kilopascal. All right. So, uh, one kilopascal, so no, one ATM is 101.3 kilopascal. So I'm putting uh, kilopascal at the bottom, ATM at the top. So kilopascal cancel out and the rest just, I know you know what to do. So three, six, fix, write them up. Ta -da. Okay. All right. So, um, that's pressures. Now we're moving on to gas law.